morning everyone. Uh, my presentation is titled is Implementation of Multilinear Regression Technique in the of Cloud Models. Uh, uh, TV is one of the widely recognized data models uh, which provides up to two weeks of the operational medical data prediction for tasks for uh, many large scale variables. Uh, those variables are uh, like uh, rainfall, rain, temperature, high temperature, The TV ensemble forecast data from uh, 10 global weather weather predictions, which are shown here in the uh, green circles. So, uh, all these forecast centers are ensembled by the TV, and all these uh, these weather forecasting centers are delivering near real time uh, with a delay of 48 hours ensemble prediction system data to three data archive models at NCEP, ECMWF, and CM. So this data is uh, available for the real-time uh, purpose and uh, for the study I use this data to uh, use the analog. The main characteristics of the different ensemble prediction systems uh, are shown here. Here you can see the there are 10 uh, <coughs> uh, weather uh, uh, ten ensemble prediction systems which have different resolutions. So to implement uh, multilinear regression technique, uh, it is required to uh, regrid all these global model data to a single grid. Uh, so we interpolate, regrid these data to uh, the observed uh, uh, same rainfall data to 25 kilometer uh, resolution. Also, out of these uh, uh, 910 uh, global models, which forecast uh, which has a different forecast range from 10 days to 16 days. Uh, we selected only six global models. Uh, uh, six data centers are selected based on the availability of data and forecast length, which is taken as 10 days at 12Z. So, uh, although it uh, provides many variables here, uh, working on using only for the rainfall case. The second is implemented for. Indian uh, summer monsoon domain. So this figure shows the minimum local absolute error for the precipitation forecast. So this this is the day one to day ten forecast for a particular case study, and each model out of six like uh, these are six models selected, CMA, CPC, like these are, and each model is assigned with a single color. So that we this uh, figure shows that at a particular grid point, neither a single model is able to uh, get the best wide range of uh, distribution of the absolute error. So there is a need uh, for the operational forecast to combine these uh, these at a single grid point, these uh, six model forecast to get a uh, single forecast. So for that purpose, we uh, selected this form domain and uh, stream data is being selected. We use the multi-linear uh, regression technique uh, to get the mathematical description of uh, multi-linear regression technique. Uh, this is the way all these uh, six models are combined, uh, where they are the uh, coefficients. Uh, FI is the forecast for all six models. F bar is the timing of the forecast data. So for each <coughs> point and for uh, like we have 10 day forecast. So for day 1, day 2, and day 10, we are computing the weight separately. So to compute the weight coefficients, we need to be uh, equation number 1, uh, at least that we If we differentiate, uh, if we uh, differentiate uh, this function with respect to the coefficients, and uh, for getting the extreme line, we equal to 0, we will. Uh, and after rearranging, we get the final form of the equation, which is the normal equation. So this is the matrix, let's say A, B equal to Q. And uh, to compute the coefficients, we can simply invert this matrix uh, to get the AIs. And there are many uh, numerical methods available uh, which can be used to compute these coefficients. Uh, in this study, we use uh, single value computation method. So, uh, the experimental setup, uh, we used six global model uh, data, additional data. We downloaded it for the six years. 
monsoon season, monsoon season there is something how to get to come back in. And you the observed all the global models are in the same So this particular figure, uh, so there are total of 732 days, uh, this is JJS, uh, years. So there are 732 days uh, of the total data, out of which uh, to do multilinear reduction, it involves two phases. First is the training phase, other than the forecast phase. During the training phase, we need to do get the stable uh, coefficients. For that purpose, uh, we check the stability of the coefficient by taking 10 days of 10 cases of and uh, with the uh, uh, <coughs> coefficients, these are special average coefficients. And it is uh, shown in the figure that uh, these coefficients are getting stabilized after like uh, 530 number of cases. So, for, to be on safe side during the training phase, the coefficients are computed with the uh, 600 case studies. And the parameter is therefore then these coefficients uh, which are computed from the training phase are applied to the forecast phase uh, for the few cases. And we got it. So this is the six model operational model available online. Uh, this is the single day one. In the coefficient computed for day one and super uh, new forecast. So this is the trim rate for the learning. So these type of products. Uh, we can uh, provide on the real time basis. This, these results are actually for the real time which I will give in that time. Uh, to know, validate our forecast with the other model forecast, uh, we plotted a Taylor diagram and uh, this is uh, four case studies uh, we did and, uh, and this is red dots are actually for the ensemble of multilinear regression uh, forecast and uh, from day 1 to day 10. So each note is assigned with the label 1, 10 days. Uh, in the Taylor diagram, uh, this is the standard deviation on this axis. axis. And the radial axis shows the correlation. So in the all four cases, the uh, multi-meter regression product shows the least, uh, like highest, uh, least error, root mean square error, which is uh, from the reference point to this and uh, high correlation compared to the other models. So uh, these type of products using the MLR technique, the one point I forgot to mention like MLR technique and the super ensemble technique which is being used by the students, they are using the OVAR factor. OVAR is basically if you use the climatology, then uh, that will generate the correlation matrix uh, that will uh, generate the uh, anomaly correlation matrix and compute the weights. But in this case, OVAR uh, is taken as the time in during the uh, training phase. So that becomes same as uh, taking summation of AI and the forecast data. So uh, that's why uh, in this case, uh, this is an anomaly for So the two cases, uh, this is the super ensemble 10 day forecast. Uh, this result is shown just uh, uh, for the onset date and uh, withdrawal of the monsoon date. These products can be used for very many cases. So, uh, our uh, conclusion of this presentation is the AMILA technique can be used for the operational study and we can deliver the products using this technique. Reduce systematic bias from the group of member models to provide the better forecast for the users. And study of the NWP global models shows uh, that among six models, although uh, a single model is not showing wide range of bias that we have, uh, we see the and the UPMO are perform performing equally well. The limitation of this technique will, will always be that. Uh, it depends on the model forecast to this set. If the model forecast will improve, definitely the skill of this set.
get the rainfall better, other periods start like you can easily get better outcomes. Are they better? Yes, they will be definitely better. Well, that's right. Yes, uh, I have both results also for the waves and uh, for the other variables. Those are the best forecasts. For the wind case, wind actually is very high correlation. More model itself will be very high correlation. But if you come to the super ensemble, uh, it will it, it increase. So one of the case studies which I know is uh, if the model is giving 0.8 correlation, the super ensemble will go 0.9 correlation. So based on those, that's the Like then, what is it that you're showing there? Is it the weights or is this? Uh... No, this is actually the super ensemble forecast for two studies. Like, uh, so this is so, a, so uh, super ensemble. This is the rainfall. So uh, the super uh, the forecast will start from this up to ten days. So this result is just to show the product which is be available on the rainfall. Yeah, observations. The uh, observation are. Uh, and similarly, the, when the monsoon is withdrawn, so this 9th of June, the monsoon starts. Right? Then we can check the, where the isochrome of the monsoon, monsoon are, how they are moving, how the withdrawal is. So this product is the uh, best. So this is the single model forecast. So, uh, I mean, single forecast for. Tuning uh, means uh, what is the purpose of this? Uh, what is the uh, uh, tuning? Yeah, or observed data is used to tune. Uh, this observed data, this is used to print the reported data. So all data is interpolated to the observed data. So all the fixes are the precipitation, but you can use the same synchronization program. Okay, similar. Yeah, it depends. Uh, if you have the like, if you have the better of the data, you can use that. It's that. And then you can do that. So you can do the Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, what happens when you're missing the active part of it? There's a diurnal cycle in the rain. The turn on the measures for the time and the time. That can be the reason. You might be able to do it better if you could count for the trim and trim the Any other questions? Hey. Uh, yeah, well, first I'll comment. Uh, mean square error, absolute error correlation are not good metrics for measuring precipitation skill. So I suggest looking at better metrics for measuring skill. Uh, another comment is that uh, have you com compared uh, generally when I've looked at a lot of studies using this multilinear regression, appro regression approaches a lot of times they don't really be taking the average of the better models with a bias correction so I think as a benchmark you should compare against a bias corrected ensemble average of the better models and see how much improvement you're getting. Uh, I think each operational model like Yes, but I'm talking about taking an average of the best models and see how that performs. Okay, the mean of the because you need to show that giving different weights is somehow better than just giving the same weight. Uh, so to show how much improvement you're getting based on preferential weights. So you need to see a comparison to see if this approach is really improved.